Hey guys, how you doing? Did you know that there's an LG Phoenix 4 around? You know, this is crazy. I found it uh, yesterday on Target and I bought it. But I was checking here the website at Best Buy. This is bestbuy.com. And the LG Phoenix 4 has been listed, but it said only in the stores, in the stores only. So you cannot order it online. And the funny thing is that on Target, it's the same thing guys, $59.99, but shipping is not available. Now I went to Walmart and the phone is not here. I mean, they're selling the LG3 and the even the LG2, Phoenix2, but not the LG Phoenix4. So I said, all right, so let me buy it and unlock it for you guys. All right, so here it is, the LG Phoenix4. Nice looking phone, $59.99. But guess what guys, this phone is not even Oreo. Still Android 7.1, so that's a bummer. All right guys, so really quick, this is still an Android Nougat 7.12 storage, expandable 232 if you put a micro SD card. Five inch HD display. So this one has a megapixel on the front and five for the selfie camera and a 2500 milliamp battery. So this is it guys. I think it's a pretty simple specs. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna open it. All right, so let's see guys. The usual manuals that nobody's gonna read. Charger, micro SD of course. Don't expect USB type C on this ones. A 2500 milliamp battery. Here it is, boom. This is the LG Phoenix 4. Look at that, guys. You know what? It looks like the Resio 3. Do they have fingerprint reader here? I don't know. Let's see, guys. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna do a quick unlock. And again, guys, if you have, if you happen to have an LG Phoenix 4 and you want to unlock it, don't forget that I do sell the unlock code. So hit me up on the comments or send me an email, all right? Of course, you already know that these phones, they come with the AT&T SIM card already right there. So the first thing, take out the AT&T SIM card. And of course, I'm gonna use my Metro SIM card. I'm gonna put it right there. So you can see the model is the LMX210APM. Yeah, that's the official model of the phone. Okay guys, so I already put the Metro SIM card. I'm gonna put the battery now. And I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna turn it on. The power button is on the back. You know what is weird is why, you know, Best Buy is not selling it. I mean, why Target and Best Buy, they're only selling it at the store and why Walmart doesn't have it. It's kind of a mystery, this phone, you know? And this is the welcome screen. I'm gonna do it in English. Uh, you know what? I should do it in Spanish also. But oh, look at this, guys! Sin Network Unlock Pin. Unlock attempt one of ten. Again, guys, every time you buy a new phone, chances are you're gonna have ten chances to unlock the phone. So don't screw it up. If you need an unlock code, you know, let me know. I'll hook you up. All right. And I happen to calculate the phone already for this phone, and it's right here, guys. I'll calculate the code but again guys you cannot use this code because this code is unique to my IMEI number so each code is unique you cannot copy it I just want to show it to you it's 16 digits so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna proceed to input the numbers and then we're gonna lock it I put the cursor there and I'm gonna start typing eight four one one four eight seven five seven three zero nine five zero nine four all right and look at the difference guys remember the maven 3 once you have all the 16 digits this menu is going to grade out in this case the lg phones they don't do that so they don't give you that extra uh signal that you already already enter all the digits so then you click done and you're going to proceed to click on the unlock button once you click on that button, you're going to get a message of either unlock successful or unlock code not valid or wrong unlock code. So once you hit this 
unlock button, you're going to get a successful unlock message or you're going to get the unsuccessful message. All right, so let's do it, guys. Unlock. Boom. Oh, look at that. See, that were unlocked request. Unsuccessful. 001. My goodness. Guys. And look, and the phone is now off. My goodness. So they did it again, these guys. They did what they did at the LG Phoenix 3. I was not aware about that, guys. So what happened if this is the LG 3? Look, and now it's restarting. So I got that vicious code, the uh, underscore 001. Oh my goodness. So I guess I'm gonna have to try to fix this. And you can see that the attempt, unlock attempt, one of 10. So the phone is not unlocked, guys. Let me try the code again, just for you to see the that that code. 8411487. Seven three zero nine five zero nine four done unlock and you get the zero zero one unsuccessful message and the phone is gonna restart all right guys so I failed to unlock this phone but let me try something else guys let's try to put the sim card again the AT&T sim card let's see what happened then also, okay uh, you don't need to some phones you need to turn them off to put the sim card or sometimes when you put a SIM card on a phone, it's gonna ask you to restart. But in this case, the SIM card, in this case, you can put a SIM card um, without having to turn off the phone. So I'm gonna put the AT&T SIM card. Let's see what happened, guys. It's probably gonna ask me to activate it, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna restart it, guys. I'm just gonna restart it and probably it's gonna offer me to um, get one of the services from AT&T. I don't see nothing, guys. I don't see nothing. AT prepay. Maybe if I could click here, AT prepay, AT&T prepay. Look, I see some activity here, downloading something there. AT&T prepay. I don't see nothing. Oh, look at that. Now it's AT&T. So now it's getting AT&T, guys. But nothing, 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 nothing. It's getting AT&T. This is the menu we're looking for. Okay, so let's click activate now. Enter zip code. Your request is being processed. Select your plan. How about 25 cents per minute? Your request is being processed. Select options. Confirm. Your request is being processed. AT&T Prevail. Activation complete. Phone number. And they, they even give me a phone number, guys. Temporary password. 4866. I'm going to take a picture of this, guys. Or, you know what I can do? How about we do a print screen? Yeah. That's a, that's a print screen. Gallery. All right. Save to gallery. So let's just start the, the phone again, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at this. Hold on. AT&T, free message. Learn about third-party mobile purchases. Let's see if I have the number already on the status, right? Status. Phone number. I have phone number, guys. 954-651-4866. So, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to try to put the Metro SIM card. Let's see what happens, guys. Maybe I'm going to be able to unlock it. Stay tuned. Oh, I screwed up because, again, you don't need to turn it off. You can just pop in the, the SIM card. But in this case, you know, since, since we're going to change the SIM card, now let's try it with the Metro, guys. Let's see. Cross your fingers. See if it was going to work. All right, guys. So let's do it. Let's turn it on. Let's see what happened. The phone is getting a little bit warm. So let's see what happened, guys. I, I think I'm going to get the unlock code menu. And we're gonna try to input the the code again. And I want to show you something though. I want to show you something, guys. This is the test you should do. If you're still buying the LG Phoenix 3, some people ask me, hey, can you unlock the phone? So this is the test I'm gonna tell everybody to do before asking for an unlock code. And the test is really simple. You're gonna put a SIM card from a company different than AT&T. And what you're gonna do, guys, look, 
What are you gonna do, guys? Is you gonna put any number? Put any number, guys. Any number. Put any number. This is the test you're gonna do, guys. Put any number. Click unlock. And look at that. Sync network unlocks request unsuccessful. And now you are using your second attempt of the 10 you have. So what does that mean? That means that you can unlock the phone, guys. And let's do it again, right? Put anything there, right? Click done. Click unlock. And you're going to have this message. Network unlock request unsuccessful. The attempts are counting. When we first uh, tried to do the unlock, the attempts were not counting. And I was getting the 001, the underscore 001 message. So that's what I want to show you guys. I think now we can undo it. Let's see that. I'm going to put the real unlock code, which is 84111487503095094. And you know what, guys? I'm going to click done. I'm sure this is going to work. And again, guys, if you want to buy an unlock code for the LG Resio 3, the LG Phoenix 3, the LG Phoenix 4, let me know. I can sell you one really cheap. All right, guys, so let's do it. Unlock. Boom. Sin Network unlock successful. I told you guys it was going to work. So what's going to happen now? The phone is going to restart. I'm wondering if the other ones work like that, guys. That makes sense, guys, because... So first you kind of activate the phone without activating it. And that's how you bypass the the lock, you know? That's how you bypass the lock. Guys, did I mention you that if you need an unlock code, you should contact me? Did I say that before? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, look at that. Let's see, guys. I'm looking to see oh look at this beautiful thing guys what is it saying metro pcs yes network yeah network metro pcs lte in service all right guys so i think that concludes the video about how to unlock the lg phoenix 4 guys nobody else has a video like this so i'm the first one again oh let's do the little test guys i mean i know you guys like the test 611 so this is gonna confirm that it's a lock. This is Metro by T-Mobile, and I see your phone isn't active on our network. Hold on just a second. I'm That's it, guys. That's it. It works. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. It means a lot to me, guys. Please comment the video if you have any questions. If you need an unlock code, you know what to do. Contact me. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night. Bye.